Dave Spector is without a doubt one of the most recognizable people on Japanese TV. Known for corny jokes and insightful commentary, people have come to expect Dave to be called on to provide commentary on not just foreign, but domestic politics and showbiz. And his sense of humor has really grown on me over the years. But how did he get there? And how has he stayed there? Dave grew up in Chicago in the 1950s. He got into showbiz early on, working as a child actor in a few commercials. His interest in Japan came in the fifth grade, when a Japanese immigrant joined his class. Dave wanted to be his friend, and it's from that friendship Dave was first introduced to manga. He wanted to be able to understand and read more manga, and he started studying on his own and attending a class on the weekends. He was mastering 50 words a day, and since manga wasn't as readily available as it is today, he started reading novels in Japanese. His Japanese ability was skyrocketing, and by junior high school, he had won two Japanese speech contests consecutively. He studied for a year at Sophia University before returning to an American university in Chicago to study broadcasting. After graduation, he decided to go west to Los Angeles to pursue a career in show business. He worked as a TV scriptwriter before finally getting a job at ABC as a producer. ABC tasked him with finding interesting video clips in Asia for the show Ripley's Believe It or Not in 1983. Dave and his crew traveled around Asia, but since Dave was so skilled in Japanese, ABC allowed him to stay in Japan. He lived out of a hotel and worked with Japanese broadcasting companies. In 1984, he got the opportunity to appear on Japanese TV. He was part of the first foreign talent boom, which Dave has compared to being a panda. However, that fact didn't bother Dave because, well, he was a rich panda. But Dave knew this foreign fad would eventually wane, and he also knew it wasn't what he really wanted to do for the rest of his life. He decided early on that he wasn't here to compete with other foreign talents. And his knowledge of Japanese and show business really set him apart. He built a career as a commentator and started his company, Spectre Communications, which manages videos between Japan and international broadcasting companies. Over the years of quality commentary, he's become the go-to guy for Japan to better understand foreign news and has helped with criticism of domestic problems. What I really like about Dave's commentary is how he doesn't go in with a vendetta, but he's no pushover in stating his opinion. I believe it's this middle ground which is filled with facts and cheesy jokes that keeps his popularity high. And it's for those reasons I think Dave is a pretty awesome commentator. Fun fact time! Dave is actually a CIA spy. This rumor has been floating around since the 80s. Its origin probably comes from the fact that Dave literally lived out of a hotel in his first few years in Japan. Which isn't a cheap or easy thing to do. Though Dave has said, America was still in its golden years of TV, and ABC was just willing to front up that money. This rumor resurfaced when what looked like an assassination attempt happened. Dave's car blew up in his garage, though after an investigation, the cause of the explosion was a problem with the car and the fact that Dave never actually drove the car. Dave has received death threats. The most notable death threat comes from Ohm, a New Age religious cult that committed the very first act of domestic terrorism in Japan. Dave poked fun at their leader, and the death threat was issued. But 
never honored. N-E-D-M.